month we're talking about knowing Jesus. In fact, for me, Jesus, the Lord, who is the only one that I call him three square. He's everywhere. In heaven, he's recognized. Here on earth, also, is known. Even on the earth, is known. So it's not just Lord of this place. It's three square. People say Satan is the one that's coming the world. No. Jesus Christ has taken over. Just what we had this morning, he asked for us. We one. We were going to Jerusalem. When we talk about, if you call him, say he's a king, it's an insult. Jesus is not a king. He's king of kings. Where kings are gathered, when he's there, mm -hmm. only him be known. All others will bow before him. Yes. And that is why our Lord. He justified him one of us today. Last week you had. Because for all these things we are talking about is God himself made the whole world. He made you in his image. But our first Adam prayed. This is why the sin came at all to the sin. So every humanity became a sinner. Otherwise, there will be no need for who is going to save us. And for that reason, God has to make another arrangement. For Christ to surface, it's another arrangement. Everyone that is here or that is out of my voice, he knows he saw her father. Physically, you know him or her. This is my mother, this is my father. But the case of Jesus is different. He's the only one that the Holy Ghost came over. Why? Because the father was up. He wouldn't come down. He came down in spirit and met Mary. And this is why he said, That is my father. So you are here, you know your physical father. I was the only one that was qualified to pay for that price. To be able to reconcile humanity back again. Do not say I was not even born when it happened. Yes, we are not born. But humanity is already wrong already. You are a human being. You are not an animal. So for that reason, somebody has to pay the price. And the only one who was qualified to do it is Jesus. Amen. And we are not living under that today. The energy is not ours. He said, where it is, we shall be here. This is why we call ourselves his children, or our daughters. Otherwise, it's not because your father was a Christian or your mother was a Christian. No, it's not enough. So, you'll be making a mistake. If you think you ever want to live on this same earth now, today, without Jesus, see, after all, some people don't even know Jesus, they are rich. Come and earth is coming. Definitely, it must come. Mm. On that day, who is going to be on judgment seat? This same Jesus. No one else. Here, we respect imams. They are having mocks here. You respect them. You respect prophets. I don't know what you call them around here, but who is going to be a God made Jesus? No one else. Who is your Lord? So if you deny him today, tomorrow you say, I don't know you. But I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will help every one of us that we are sleeping today. Amen. Once you are not dead, there is a chance for you to change. Because after that is automatic judgment. There's no like just wait a minute for me. There's no way. So long as you are alive, you can be able to change even if it's the next minute. Even if it's now that I'm talking, you made up your mind right now. You change. Why? Because the Lord is not here yet. It's not too late. Who knows? 
At the end of this service today is coming, who knows? And when it comes, that is the end of everything. It's coming to give to everyone. Take your key. Go to your mansion. And I pray that every one of us would not allow this world around us to drag us into sin. That will not give us that ability to go to eternal life. Amen. Why is very important? We are going to where we are going to live where there's no thief. Every one of us when we are coming to this world, I'm very sure nobody came with with what we you know here in the start where you are born. I brought my money. So I'm going to use all this thing. You didn't bring it. You came without anything. The same way you go back. Even if you have 10 houses on the street here. The day for you to go, you go with them here. You want to go with them. So for that reason, the only one that I think we should think about and esteem is the Lord himself. Because you cannot escape him. This is why John himself, you had last week. When John came, he's a man that was sent from God to tell the good news to the people. Because the Messiah is coming. John came to tell the good news. When we read the book of John, chapter 1, Verse 1, I will encourage every one of us here. We are Christians. Please, when you go home, go and look into the book of John, into the Bible, the book of John from the first chapter to the last chapter of the book of John. There are only 21 chapters. You want to know about Jesus Christ fully? Who he is, we had last week, is our what? Our Savior. He's our Savior. My own earthly father may not be able to save me. Your own earthly father may not be able to save you. But someone has already done it. All you need to do is to recognize him and come under his leadership Amen. with obedience. Amen. Then you are sure that eternity is yours. We are talking about Palm Sunday. See the memory when he did it. And that's what I'm going to repeat even this coming weekend. Dying was not easy, but he died for me and you. I said it one day, everyone that is here, you have a son. Somebody will pay to your house. This is what your son has just done outside. The penalty is dead. And I don't know who is going to face it. I'm very sure you will not say, okay, let me die for my son. All of you say, no, please. Take the son and uh, catch yourself. I don't know what's going to happen. None of you, you are going to die for your son or doctor. No. You say, I'll be telling this boy, he doesn't get one. Okay, carry him. You will not hear. That's what you say. Jesus Christ died for everyone. Only for you now just to submit to him. But the devil is always whispering to you, and you still have cause to listen to the devil. The one can that can never save you. Today, I want us to know. If Bible told me and you, said in the first book of John 1, he said in the beginning, the world already existed. It was with God. It was with God. And the world was God, and it was in the beginning with God. He created everything there is. Nothing exists that he didn't make. Jesus Christ is the word of God. He created everything on this earth. Nothing you can find around that was made that was not made by him. But yet, the people did not recognize him. If they are known is the one, if they are known that if this man is killed, what would happen? He would allow it to be killed. He thought that was the end. He didn't know it's someone you cannot kill. He is the owner of the place. Why do you think the sinners say come? 
Bow for me and give you. He took me to man and said, Do you see all this you are seeing? Just bow for me and give it on to you. If he knows he's the owner, and he says so, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. But we are come to realize that. Like I told you, Jesus Christ is not just Lord in this place. I call him thank you. In heaven, head here, it will be next. He has it. If they tell you, ah, God is in heaven, say that if you read the word here, even in here, say that it is a lie. Jesus Christ, the whole heart, the whole thing. It was man being here, but today where he is, he's in heaven. It's a call to God. It's God Himself. When you have a son, now what happened? You say he's my son. Part of me is in also. Where do I ask Jesus? If you are talking about my father, show us this your father. Can you show us this your father? They ask the disciples that day. You see, if you have seen me, you have seen the father. Why? Because you cannot see his father. Mary himself, Mary herself did not even see the father. But he believed that the Holy Spirit come upon him, that the Holy Spirit, the Father, come upon her and became the Son. He did not know, I must see the man with my eyes, so otherwise I, I cannot do anything. No. He had no option. She only agreed. And what happened? The Holy Spirit came upon her and became pregnant. Joseph did not say what is happening. We have not seen it before. It's not possible. He didn't say so. He accepted. Even though it was not easy for him, when he started thinking, last week he had in the night, he said, ah, How can he have like that? He never happened before now. I would say, Then he had a dream. The angel told me, Console yourself. This you are seeing now, so, before the Lord. How happened? You took it, he accepted it. Which I know, 90% of people that are here cannot do it. You just married. You are not even the woman. You tell you I'm pregnant with ah, what happened? <laughs> you must you must want to see that angel. I'm very sure everyone here, ah, ah, please let me see that angel with my eyes. Open. <laughs> not that way. I cannot accept this. You never accept that. Can you imagine that kind of thing? How do you feel? It was not just happened one day and over. No. I'm very sure Jesus was also, also in the summer for nine months before he came out. So it's not a day job that we say only one day, okay, it's over. No! He managed it. He attended so. He didn't say, God, I want to see you physically. You can't see him. But it happened. That said, we should know Jesus has had the power for everything. All we need to do, we call ourselves children and sons of God. Because what of what he did for us, we should know how to be obedient to his words. That's the only way out. If you are not obedient to his word, just know you are cutting up yourself away from his blessings. Why? Because your worshiping him can never change him, he's still God. You don't want to worship him. We have millions of people on this earth. If only you say, My family never worship God again. He will say, Amen, God. All others will worship him. It means you are worshiping yourself. So it's like they say, if you cannot beat him, join them. <laughs> you cannot beat God, so join. They're not like say, No, I have my own God. Like, no. Don't deceive yourself. We are Christians. For you to be called a Christian, know how to follow who is the Lord, Jesus Himself. He's the Christ. With him, all things are possible. Nothing he cannot do. Nothing he cannot do. He said he was the word. And the word became flesh. And dwelt among us. Today, he told you, okay, he's going to the Father. When I get there, I will ask him to send the Holy Spirit to you. That same Holy Spirit that gave back to him through Mary is the same one he sent it back to you. That means he's sending God back to you also. So if that same Holy Spirit were able to get him Mary pregnant and become a man like him, the same is going to send it to you. It's 
God to heaven. Say, I will tell the Father, I will send it to you back. So that you will know I will see with you. When he says it's with you, it's with you. It's not about that I say, eh, I'm not sure. That is why unbelief is not wanted in our life. What is our doubting? It means you are blocking yourself. Don't just call yourself a Christian and be disobedient to his words. This word he has given unto us is to motivate us. Each day you continue to read this word, it motivates you to be obedient to him. It's going to remind you of who he is. And this is the reason why we should make sure we don't keep ourselves away from a place like this. Otherwise, you say, those who don't even go to church, they are still outside there, they are still eating. Let them be eating. A day is coming. A day is coming. So, brothers and sisters, we should know how to make up our mind to say, okay, the rest of my life, I will live for him. I will be obedient to him. By serving him. All you need is for his heart. is only praising him. All you need from him is praising him. I told you, you cannot make God yourself. You don't have enough capacity or anything within you that say, if I don't praise him, I will be crying. <laughs> you are only fooling yourself. You are punishing yourself. Why? Because you cannot make a difference from him. You are he's only giving you an avenue to make you okay. He has only protesting you. Let you set it on the go. Go ahead. This is how you should go about life. That's your destiny. If you do it, it benefits you. If you don't do it, it's still who he is. It's about who he is. You cannot reduce him. You cannot reduce him. For the reason, we should know. God is God, and God is the overall, and God hears you when you call him. Do not say, I don't even know if I pray whether he hears me, he does hear you. You should have that faith to call on him. And if you do call him, he will definitely answer you. Why? Because he's a powerful God. He's a powerful God. Because God himself like I told you, we have seen his ways, the way he's living. In the first book of John, we saw him as a savior and the word of God, which today is now available for every one of us. To read through the book and get understanding so that we get blessed. But many of us, this is where we have a place at church. We say, come here for prayers or for study the book of the Lord so that each time you walk with his book Mama. it's when you walk in you then the relationship will broken but you say I don't have time that cannot work you have to make sure you are living for him so as you are living for him you must make the time for him also because he's our Lord and he has everything that we need we have to know how to live in a righteous life Life of righteousness. We have to live a life of righteousness. In the second book of John, you see him where he demonstrated as our teacher. He taught the word. He was not teaching the word of God all over. Blessing us. He's a physician also. Yes, we have doctors on this head. But it's so kind, it's not like anyone we have around here. Here you have to go to school for five or ten years. They now call you a doctor. You can heal. You can do this, you can do that. But it's all kind of doctor. It's not like the one we have here. Some people tell you, I'm a gynecologist only. Some will tell you, I can only take care of you if you have a headache or anything. Some will tell you, different kind of sessions, but he is everything. He is everything. He is everything. With him, everything is possible. We call him a healer.
He heals. He has given us that chance. That though he has the authority even on this head. All you need to do is use his name. His name has power. The name of Jesus has power. He said, when you ask the Father anything with my name, he will give it unto you. But today, many of you, you don't even use it. Why? Because you don't believe in that name. Otherwise, if you have challenges, you can try it and see. You are not closed. Try it and see. Then you'll be convinced. You sometimes have to say, I'm not sure, I don't know. Try it and see. The name has authority. It has authority. I want every one of us to know that if you make up your mind to be a true Christian, that name already is available for you to use. That even the devil himself knows. He knows. And this is why he comes always to convince you to get the bad in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? Because he knows what is his name. Once you talk about him, you use that name, he knows his all powerful name. We left wherever we left, different country we come from, for one reason or the other. But he holds him everything, he holds the whole head. Anywhere you go, he's the same person. The church guys are calling today in Nigeria or any other country. It's not different from what they are calling here. It's the same Jesus. People all say, oh, it is in Nigeria that they have had my prayer. But here they don't, don't have them. God does not have prayer. We said, it's the same Jesus. Then you should ask yourself, what is the fault? Then it should mean you are the fault. So I will know that our Lord Jesus Christ, that I told you is our blessing, is our Savior, He saved us from that sin that humanity committed at the beginning with Adam and Eve. He came to reconcile us back to our Heavenly Father. And for that reason, you must know Him. You must know Him. And if you know him, that's the starting point. Every other thing that you're looking for, it just comes like a plane. Why? Because with him, all these are possible. So I want every one of us, for us to know how to live, we should take our own time, go through the book of John, starting from the first chapter, to the last chapter, they are just 23 chapters. You will see from the beginning because John himself was one a man that God sent to come and expose who Jesus Christ is to the world yes. before he came. And after he came himself, he started exposing himself like a day like this. Like this morning, I'm talking going to Judas and going. Go there, you see, and ask, untie it and bring it to me. I want to go and show myself in Jerusalem. He started his work from there. And that's why I'm today celebrating this coming weekend. Amen. But the thing is, even to the end, to the end, to the top 21st uh, chapter of the John, you find what, what he did when he was here. As a savior, he said the whole world. As a physician, mm. that healed those manner of sickness that the white people. Mm. And that power has been given to anyone that believes in his name. Yes. All you need to do now is only to believe that his name. Yes. And you start working for you. Mm. But if you don't, if you, if you don't think, I don't have to know, but I need to see just myself with my eyes. You can't see him now. Mm. Just believe in that name. Try it in your own closet and say it. Amen. When we say he has given the name to every one of us, mm. ask my father anything in my name, mm. he will do it for you. Amen. You leave the church here, you go to the house on your own alone, close the door, tell the father what that you want in his name, 
you will see what will happen. Then you will be convinced. Then tomorrow, when somebody is talking, you say, I beg, be quiet. I'm trying it myself. Like the story I told you guys one time. Yes. Where Moses Pool. Who has ever, who knows what Moses Pool here? Where Moses Pool hold your leg? You know what it is? You know how people it is? Okay. Moses Pool will hold me. I said, okay, I have a name. I've been told that this name of Jesus Christ we think everything is possible. Then it's like before you want to catch me, you know, if you call the name of Jesus Christ and it is stop, you say maybe it will have stopped. Even if I didn't call the name. Maybe because uh, it's not because I called the name. Maybe it will have stopped. Then oh, oh, thank you. Automatically, then it was I, I decided not to call the name of Jesus Christ. It was holding me seriously <laughs> for a long time. It cannot move. I stand up, you still have to check it, do everything, go to where it's going and put it there, stamp it. I went outside, got his meter, went outside to the rural uh, grounds to put it there for some time, for it for beer. In the more it was in me, I what is happening? I run for beer. Before you know, you cannot even walk with it. What is it? I just, in the name of Jesus, I just. Ah, what happened? Did he let? Yeah. He told him this. That name, it works for everyone. Only thing you need to do is to believe. He came out on that day. When I, in the name of you, he said, I said, Then, I know already it works. So, the same thing, whatever you know, that was a, in your closet, try it yourself and say, If that power is not in that name, the power is in the name of Jesus Christ. It's in the name of Jesus Christ. So if you are a Christian, don't think um, we are all the things that I don't think that it's, it's the truth, it works. So all we need is obedience. All we need is to obey. The word of God we are still having today. Jesus Christ for the word of God. Then it was now manifested in flesh. And the other day, beheaded his glory. The same word of God we have today, the Bible. When you read it, the more you read it, it's not under the words. The words get you excited within you. You don't even know what's going on. And I told you, all these people will say, ah, and you, you are not seeing anything. Maybe you see anybody, but you say, oh, you have to overcome you. Now we are pregnant. Why did you not say no? I'm gonna see that man. Home. Then before she knows it, through to his stomach is growing up. One month, two months, three months. With that, eventually Joseph will touch her. What did you happen? Will anybody tell me that I told you to say no? She's convinced. We don't have to wait in that time. All we should know is make up our mind. Yes, like I told you, it's like if you have no option, when you have no option in any situation, you do what they say you should do. In this case, you don't have to say, no, uh, God, I've seen you know the things. No, just claim that whatever you say, I do it. Be obedient to Him, it's your Lord. Then you find out that whatever you are seeking for is available. Only you, for you to believe. If you don't believe, nothing can do. All the witches, they will be happy if you don't believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? Because they have access to you. Now they have access to you. They have access to you. We think it's not possible. But when you are not, not in Him, then they can do whatever they want to do to you. So for us to know that we are children of God, please, I say it again, I don't want to take your time too much reading this book of John from fourth chapter to the but the third chapter. We are in certain stages. Three miracles. You see everything there. But I want you to go home on your own. Read it from the first chapter of the book of John. See it from the third chapter of the book of John. We are in resurrected. We are in paid in prayer for everyone. He died. It was not easy for him to die. But why? Because he wants to rescue the whole world. He gave up his ghost. Only for you to believe in him that you will be saved. 
Some people say, no. Your father cannot help you. Why? Because this is a matter of righteousness. Like I told you, you may not be able to help your son if you're not righteous. If God is looking for righteous son, he say, okay, let me die for my son. God will say, sir, I cannot take him because you're not righteous. What did you say? So, no matter what I say, I can die for my son now. In what we will be prepared to die, but if you are not righteous enough, you are not accepted. So somebody has paid the price, justify me and you. All you don't need to do is obedience. You only obey him. It's a ticket given to everyone. To be a Christian is not with man only. Say I'm a Christian, no, I go to church. Oh. That's all you know. That is required. Which every one of us have to make sure they are in us. We have to make sure they are in us. Otherwise, we will look at it too. We wait, death, step forward, we we'll turn back again, we we'll fight. See, I cannot get to this, what is happening? You struggle, struggle. Over years, you cannot get here. Why? Because something is still within you. But when the Lord is with you, we will be going higher, higher. And I pray that the Holy Spirit Himself. Since we know we are in this world, maybe with some kind, of, some kind of spirit all over, that the Holy Spirit Himself will prepare us and help us that we walk in His ways. When you walk in His ways, do His things only. Definitely, the enemy can never be able to succeed to stop you from going forward. You will not realize that anything they do against you will not prosper. Why? Because he said it already. He protects me and you. And he's already there to protect me and you. But if you don't agree with him, nothing he can do. Nothing he can do. Why? Because a lot of us today, we use the word, we don't have time. What do you mean by you don't have time? You don't have time to do what? To serve that one who is your Lord. And it's not a matter of, but you have time to obey your physical chef here. Place of work, whatever it is, you obey in your heart. You have the time. But the real one, you don't have time. That is not good enough. But many of us, we don't know. Church is a place you go and receive your victory. If you know how to receive your victory, if you are prepared to receive your victory, victory is always there. But if you don't know how to receive it, and you don't want to receive it, no problem. Do you know the thing is, our God never forces himself for anyone. It's a matter of choice. It's a matter of choice. And I pray that God himself will reveal himself to everyone that is here. And reveal himself to your heart. That you sincerely make up your mind that yes, so long as I'm living, it's you I will serve. And empower me to serve you. We know we are living with the enemies, it doesn't matter. Yes, we are in this world, but you are not part of it. Why? Because you can do with that what the world says. There are some things the world will allow you to do, but it will be the thing that is not correct inside of the world. But the enemy will always encourage you to do it. Why? Because he knows if you are obedient to the God, then of course, then he has no power in you. That is why he only want to obey. And everyone that is here, and I pray that God, our God, will direct you. And he will build around you his angels to guide you as you go out in your own, that you don't go astray. Why? Because the enemy are already, the devil is seeking for who to devour. Day in there, it's his job. In a little way, he can catch you. Immediately, he will call you quickly. Because we, we feel most of the time say we are human beings. Now, what does it mean? Jesus, that's why Jesus came. He came here as woman. Yet, the Bible says he had no sin. If you could live without sin, you know, what does that mean? You can practice it. Do not say I'm a woman being now. It doesn't matter because a woman being now, you cannot live without sin. Just as a woman being. 
but he lived without sin. The Bible declared that he had no sin, but he had to carry the sin of the whole world. And for that reason, he will be able to justify every one of us. Carry from where you are to the glory where you are going to be. And today, we are now in the month of April. We started this year, January. Everyone was happy. We have gone to the new year. God, do this for me. Do that for me. But if up to now, that one that you are asking for is not staying in your heart, then you ask yourself, what's going on? You have to relegate yourself again and make up your mind to really follow his ways. That is true obedience. Not when I have time. Not maybe I will try. No. If you try the Lord out, when I maybe I will try, it's okay. Then you call him, you say that one I want to try, then you call him to try. You don't answer you. But when you seek for him sincerely, digitally, then before you call, what is Christ I had? So, brothers and sisters, let us make up our mind that what has gone behind has gone. Say from this day forward, Lord, help me. Let me focus on you only. But I know that I'm part of this world and everywhere is snare with evil. Since, but I want to live for you only. The Lord is ready to help anyone that wants to live for him only. So long as you're not dead, you can do it. Because once you die, there are two more chances. Because one more has come one day. If he died and he's coming, judge and say, okay, he didn't do well on hand. You have to go to the left side to go and meet them. He's okay, please God, give me only one year. Let me go back home, back to the to life. So I change everything. I tell you, it's not easy. It's not possible. That you can still do as long as we are alive. Make up your mind now. So okay, I'll live for it. That means obedience becomes your portion. That you find out how to walk with him and obey him. The same word of God is still available today. It's now called the Bible. The more you read it, the more it's worth able to activate you to live for him. The Bible is not honorable. It's not honorable at all. They are the words of the Lord. They are still working as they work in the past. And today is the same thing. Read through, the more you read through, the more you are activated within you, even unknown to you, that you are already activated with the word of God. So, please, brothers and sisters, let us make our mind to live as Christians. We are not coming here, this is not a, a show house. That we are not coming here for a show, no. Coming to seek for him, the Lord himself. I told you, it's not only Lord here. Lord even in heaven is known. All that here is known also. Three faces is known as a Lord. So, and you have millions of human beings on this earth. So if only you make up your mind, say, I will never serve him again. So I've done something very good. You should know you have to yourself because millions of other human beings are still serving him. So you will live out of that. You are doing yourself. So the best thing is make up your mind and ask him, Lord, help me with your strength, with that grace of yours, that I will find myself serving you diligently. Read through your words daily. Not only on Sundays, that you open the Bible and read. The only week, read it also. Because the words that are here. They can inspire you and help you. There is power in the words of God, for the Lord. Don't always look for Bible only on Sundays. Take you talking to find where it is. Because I'm going to bring you to the church now, let me look for it. No. It should be a thing that you need to look for. See every day. Now we have Bible even on the phones. So it's not a matter of saying, I don't know where Bible is. Oh, take your phone and read it, read it, read whatever you want to read from it. Then, you always activate yourself. Keep yourself checked in the word of God. Then the enemy look at you, he say, no, that's no go here. 
Why? Because the word of God is in you shining like light. He told me that you are the light of the world. And he's light himself. So he's the light of the world. He's the light of the world. You are also the light of the world. So when you are light, there to be no darkness at all. So we have to learn how to live for him. So please, before next week that we do a revival, I want to make up your mind today. Start going through the word of God. Amen. It's just the only option we have to live. The book of John, please, read it from the first chapter to the last chapter. You will know who Jesus Christ is. Is the Lord. He blessed every one of us. He redeemed us. He's our Savior. He resurrected the Lord. He's the only one. So, we should know how to serve Him. And when we do that, nothing we shot that we're looking for that we cannot get. Why? Because He has access to everything. Except, of course, the only thing that you know is not from the Lord that you know that. But if you seek for Him, you are able to get everything that belongs to Him. Amen. Like I told you, is everything. It's your blessing. It's your Savior. He saved every one of us. He paid the price for every one of us. He's your healer. He's the physician. He's everything. You, need, you even need him more than the doctor, that, the house doctor you have. Why? Because he, he's always general. Anything you know you need, he can do it for you. It's not only the doctor that, that you have here that can do work for you and you think you're perfect. Jesus Christ is the healer, the physician himself. The physician himself. So, please, the word of God in the book of 1 John, know it yourself. The book of 2 John told us Jesus Christ is Son of Man. The third book told us is Divine Teacher. And the book, the fourth book told me and you that he is the soul winner. He is the soul winner of the whole world. He is. And the people told us that he is the great physician that I've just said. He is the great physician. No one is better than him. And no one can be better than him. Why? Because he's our Lord. The sixth book told me I use the bread of life. That's why you live in daily. He's the bread of life. And it's also the water of life. He's the defender of the weak. If you think you are weak, I don't have power. That's why I don't control He's the father of the weak. He has the power. Go to him. He will defend you. He's the defender of the weak. And it's the light of what I've just told you. That's why you also are light of the world. How do you become the light of the world? Carry the word of God outside also. Do evangelism. Do evangelism. We need it. We need it. He's the good shepherd. He's the resurrection of and the light. He's the resurrection and he has life to today. And that's why we are you are living. And he's the king. When I say he's the king, he's king of kings. Yes, you might have king in Australia or any other village or, or country. That, yes, they are kings. I'm not saying of kings. But he's king of kings. We are all kings assembled when he's there. He's the king. Is the head and it's a servant also, and it's our comforter, it comforts me and you, so you cannot do without him. So stay in him, it's true fine. If you plug yourself away from him, you are looking for trouble. The better you remain in him, is the true vine. He's the one that baptized you in the Holy Ghost. He went to the Father and prayed, I will send the Holy Spirit to you. So, that same Holy Spirit that gave back to him through Mary is our intercessor. Today, he's intercessing with us, with the Father. He's the suffering Messiah. He suffered for me and you. He was the one that 
was lifted off to save us. And he's the only one that conquer over death. He's the conqueror. He conquered over death. And Elish, he restored human lives. He's the restorer of humanity. So he has restored everyone of us to the Father. So for that reason, for all this I mentioned, if he is the one doing it, then please make sure you remain with him and be constantly be obedient and seek his word. And when you seek his word, his blessing will never escape you. The Lord himself will assist you and will protect you. May God bless his word.